Okay, UKJV only people are really gluttons for punishment. I keep telling you I don't want to make videos about this, but you keep on raising stupid questions. So the theme of this video is to show you that you can't prove a single doctrine that you espouse from the King James. And we're going to take some really important ones, okay? Here we go with a, ver with a verse that you all know that I espouse and prove. God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now you ask most of the KJV only people what does that mean? It means you have to believe that Jesus Christ paid for your sins in order to be saved. Okay? But the text doesn't actually say that, does it? See? He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him believeth in him what? believe that he's God believe that he came believe in him what? it doesn't say believe in him that he paid for sins there's nothing here that says you have to believe that he paid for sins to get everlasting life and you'll also notice it says should not perish but have everlasting life. There's nothing here in this verse that says you cannot lose your salvation. Not in the English. Okay? Now, somebody can then come along and say, well, even if you say that you have to believe to be saved, you have to do something else besides believe to be saved based on the King James Version okay because look he that believeth and is baptized <gasps> oh oh so it's not faith alone in Christ alone because Mark 16 16 says here that you also have to be baptized now of course if you do know the Greek rather than the King James you know that this is a fake verse, that the King James stuck this in here by mistake. It doesn't belong in the Bible. It's not part of the Bible. In fact, none of this, maybe, well, about here. It's kind of hard to tell in the English, but for sure, all this, Well, actually, beginning here. That's all fake. Okay? And there's some doubt about whether this is genuine, too. I think I can prove that that's genuine from the Greek. But in the King James, you can't tell. So, gee whiz, gee whiz, look at this. Using the King James, well, you can't prove faith alone is in Christ alone. You can't prove that it's faith that he paid, and you can't prove that that's the only requirement. See? And of course, then we have Romans 10.10, which is also mistranslated, but if all you use is the King James, you don't know that. Okay, Romans 10.10 says, you have, to, you, have to, you have to say, see, if you confess and believe, okay, you have to know the Greek to understand that you do not have to name your faith in order to be saved. But if you look at the King James, you'll think you do. Now, it even gets worse than that because you can't even prove Trinity from the King James. These are all the Son of Man verses in the King James. Okay? See, Son of Man. God is not a man nor a Son of Man. God is not the Son of Man. See? God is not the Son of Man. Uh-oh. Because what does Christ call himself like 84 times in the Gospels? There are a lot of verses that say Son of Man. Okay, so I have to go all the way up here. Okay? See? Son of Man. He calls himself Son of Man here. See? Of course, you can't really know that he's calling himself Son of Man from the English. You'd have to know the Greek. Okay? 
But we just saw a verse that says he's not, God is not the son of man. Okay? That was back up here. God is not the son of man, see? Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man, neither the son of man. Okay, so then Christ is not God then, huh? You see, this is where the JWs or whoever they are that say Christ isn't God. This is where they can get it from, the King James. See? If you didn't have access to the original texts, you wouldn't have any way to refute them. Yeah. So how inspired is your King James when it's so fuzzy? And it's not really saying anything about Trinity. It's not even saying Christ is, is God. See, the Son of Man. How do you know that's, that's Christ saying it's his own title? Hmm? And the only way you know is because in the Greek, this title is only used once in the Bible, in Daniel 7.13. But you can't tell that from the English. Now, let's see. How about, what else are we going to demonstrate? Um... We can't prove that salvation is faith alone in Christ alone from the King James Version. We can't prove that it's only faith that saves you from the King James Version. We can't prove that Christ said he's God. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, let's take John, 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 8, the most famous verse where Christ says he's God, but you can't tell that in the King James. See? Here we go. Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. That is a statement of deity. Okay, but see this word, I am? That doesn't mean anything in the English. You have to know the Hebrew and the Greek to understand that this is a name of God, the great I am. And he's quoting Exodus 3.14, but you can't see that in the English, because see, look, Exodus... Exodus, Exodus, Exodus 3.14 in the King James. See, it just says, I am that I am. Okay? They're, they're capitalizing it there. But you, you wouldn't know that that's what he's quoting in John 8.58. You wouldn't know it was a quote. That's the point I'm trying to make. You wouldn't know. See, he's because he's using it as a verb. Before Abraham was, I am. You wouldn't know that he was using that as his nickname. Somebody could say, before Abraham was, I am. Okay. I am what? See, in English it would be, I am, I am what? See, you're relying on your teachers to tell you what these verses mean in the English. But from the actual English text, you can't prove a thing. Think about it.